What even is a Raz? Well, let's get Razzy with this. Go! What is up, Bengals fam? It's your boy Mike coming back at you with another Who Daily. I got a pretty uh, kind of technical video for you guys today. You guys have he heard me a lot talk about RAS scores, relative athletic score, right? Now, this is a concept. Uh, I'm going to give all credit to uh, to at MathBomb on Twitter if you go check it out. I, they run the RAS, R-A-S dot football website. So relative athletic score, what this really means is it's taking each individual player. So I'm going to explain to you guys how I kind of, you, you guys have heard before how I like to scout. Um, and it's not super advanced. I've come up kind of with the, the internet uh, junkies kind of uh, online scouting, right? This is so you're not a pro. You Maybe you watch or played football a little bit. You understand kind of what you're looking at, but you not heard of, you haven't heard of these players. You're not sure how to how to look into them. We're just gonna I'm just gonna go over the what a relative athletic score means, what you're looking at when you see it, right? So just right off the top, what it means is it's any individual player's uh, athletic testing numbers by comparison uh, to. Uh, the players in their draft class in that same position, right? Now, you can do rel all-time relative athletic scores as well, right? So you can uh, compare players to all players that have ever tested at the Combine uh, or just tested in general. Uh, the uh, the folks that run Raz.Football do a great job of uh, uploading uh, athletic testing scores from pro days as well. So you're not missing out on on pro day testing or anything like that. Anytime a player does an official testing, official athletic testing, this guy will find it, put it into this database, and you'll be able to find it. So let's let's check out Raz.com uh, or Raz.Football. You can see here when you just go to the homepage, it's got a bunch of uh, a bunch of players. You can sort it by by draft year, right? It goes all the way back to 1987, um, and then going down, kind of uh, you can do it by. So here's this year's draft, some of the draft scores. You can do it by title and everything. So this is the larger data set. But if you're looking for an individual player, and let's just do one. Cool. So let's do. Let's check out one specific one for a prospect that's been kicked around as it potentially uh, falling to the Bengals at 31, which would be uh, the cornerback Kyer Elam um, out of Florida, right? So if we take a look at, at Kyer Elam's uh, RAS score here, right? So let's take a look at what we're looking at and what numbers are important, right? So the overall RAS score. So you're going to get some measurements. Hand measurement doesn't doesn't matter for corners. You hear a lot about quarterbacks needing to hit nine. I think it's nine and a quarter or nine inches or more. You uh, uh, that's just so they can grip the football. You guys heard about Joe Burrow's hand size last year. It's not as big a deal as people make it out to be. But if you have tiny, tiny little hands, could be an issue. Um, Arm length, that's that you know, corners you are going to hear about it. Uh, Kyrie Elam has long arms, uh, almost 31 inches. Um, you'll hear this for offensive linemen as well. You want for offensive linemen, you want them up, uh, up around 33, 34 in inches, even. Um, but uh, the relative athletic score, so this eight, that's all out, everything's out of 10 here. So 10 out of 10 being the you know, uh, the absolute best. Uh, so if we're looking at Kyrie Elam, right, you can obviously see. Uh, height here six foot uh, one and a half inches right or so uh, six the first two numbers are going to be the the feet right so six feet and then the neck the, the second two numbers are going to be the inches right so it's one point so it's one and a one and a four tenths inches right so right there so almost you know six foot one and a half is what we're looking at for uh for kyer elam gets good height that's in the you know 94th percentile for corners right here for height his weight 191 he's not super big but you don't you know the more weight you have on a corner you know uh, you don't want him to be. I think 190 is a is where you'd want a guy that height to be. But he, you can see him being even putting on a little bit more weight, um, uh, and still being uh, fine. Only 10 bench reps. That's very bad. I can do, I can do that many bench pre bench reps honestly. Uh, so that's not very good. But uh, Kyer Elam is more of a sticky corner that that stays with you with his length and his athletic ability uh he's not as much of a bully um as some other corners corners are so that that kind of that that's shows in the bench press reps right um and then if it's move over to move down to the what's so that was the size grading right so you're going to see that that's going to be uh, the size rating for 
uh, for every player. And then you look at the explosion grade. So uh, this is going to be your vertical jump and your broad jump. And why they call it the explosion grade and where this is important. Imagine doing a broad jump. So you have to squat way down in your stance and leap uh, leap forward in order to, you know, with two feet and land. In order to do that, you have to have really good balance, strong hips, and strong legs in order to propel yourself. That's why they call it the explosion grade. Same thing with the vertical. You got to get deep in your stance and, and explode out of your stance. Uh, so, you you know, uh, corners, this isn't terrible, you know, this isn't a huge deal, but this is going to be more important for your edge rusher guys. You really want good explosion grades out of your, ed your, your edge players. Um, out of obviously out of running backs um, and even wide receivers to get off the line and get a good release these are really good uh, numbers to look at you don't want your corners to be bad in these grades but having a 7.9894 you know that 37 and a half is pretty good I don't know why he didn't do the broad jump sometimes players just skip specific tests but um, uh, you can see here now let's move over so that's what you're looking at from a composite from the explosion score that's why it uh, why it is where it is um, and some of these things are going to be specifically important for the type of player you're looking for for example if you're looking for a you know for a sam hubbard type edge setting run defending defensive end it's not as big a deal that he isn't as explosive what you're really looking for for him uh is more uh strength and size right uh so uh but if you're looking for more of your joseph asai type of edge player the, the explosion is really important you really want to be able to get off the line and get around the edge uh, so if you're looking for the speed guys the speed rushers you really need explosion explosion grade and agility grades right but um looking at kair elam the the composite score here for his uh, speed grade obviously this stuff's pretty straightforward 40 yard dash is going to be how fast he ran the 40 you can see he's really fast four nine or four three nine uh that's puts him in the 93rd percentile of, of corners in this draft uh and then the splits are just going to be how long it took him uh to get to each point right so it took him you know uh th this this will help you if you compare it to the explosion grade right so you expect guys with good explosion scores to have really good splits because that means they're getting up to speed really quickly and then maintaining the speed in order to get a, a good composite grade you can see uh Kyrie elam has good long speed right because his 10 yard split isn't great meaning he didn't get up to speed super fast but once he got up to speed to the 20 yard mark he turned it on and, and kept accelerating which is what what we mean by long speed so you really want in your defensive backfield you do want long speed because that also translates to makeup speed right it makes it so you uh it makes it so if you do get burnt, you can turn and run and catch up, uh, especially if it's a kind of a uh, poor throw from the quarterback, you'll be able to catch up to those, right? And then looking at the agility grades are going to be the shuttle and the three cones. So these are going to be the this, these are going to be the the drills. Uh, there are three cones. You have to run and c kind of uh, there's a certain there's a specific pattern they do, right? But in order to be good at this, you have to be you have to be really balanced. You have to have really good control of your hips and your feet, right? So stopping and starting really quickly. Uh, these are the drills you really do want. Most of the time, you want your corners to be good at this. An outside corner, not as big a deal as as a as a slot corner here, uh, because slot corners are going to be covering a lot of quick in routes, a lot of hitches and outs, a lot of stuff right there. Um, uh, you, I, I would like to see Kyrie Lim a little higher here for our first first round pick, um, uh, but but he is a a superior athlete here. Uh, not even you know he's just super fast and for that height, uh, very long. But let's look at another let's look at another player. So let's look at a different position, a defensive end uh, edge player that I wanted to show you guys kind of what the difference in these scores are. Nick Bonito out of Oklahoma is a pure speed rusher off the edge. Uh, he, I've seen, he, he's good. He's got the talent. I think he could go in the first round even, but he probably won't. He's probably a mid second round guy. Uh, but if you take a look, uh, size composite grade, not great. D, you know, solid showing on the bench press. Um, but six foot three, 248 for a 21 year old dude is really is really good you can see his arms how long his arms look how long his arms are 32 and a half inches right so uh what what that means is you know what, what you can you can imagine that meaning is he's a pure speed rusher right so he gets he gets up the field fast and he's able to keep the offensive tackle off of him with a long arm right get one arm really long so that he can get around that corner 
uh, and get to the quarterback, right? And so that tr that, that kind of translates. You really want to see long-armed uh, edge rushers. Um, you can see his explosion grades are, are amazing. His agility grades are great, meaning he can get around the corner really fast. And he's very fast, 4-5-4. Four, four. I think if he were to be a tight end, that would be the fastest a tight end ran in this year's uh, in this year's uh, draft uh, draft class, right? And faster than a lot of wide receivers, to be honest with you. Uh, super super fast, twitched up athlete. Uh, this is the kind of dude where you're gonna you're getting a pure speed rusher here, right? So this is the kind of thing I wanted to show you guys how to read a relative athletic score chart and what some of the testing means, right? Because if you're looking for a speed rusher, you're really looking for explosion score here and uh, agility score. It's it's an added bonus if the guy's also fast, as if he also runs a fast 40, right? But you can actually run a slower 40, 40 than this, put up good agility and explosion scores and still be a really good edge rusher, right? Uh, but if you're looking for, you know, if you're reading a chart for like an offensive lineman, it's gonna be way different, right? So uh, just, telling, just showing you guys uh, kind of what I look for in the relative athletic score testing what you're looking at when you see these things shared on twitter and and, and your social media uh kind of what you guys are looking at and and i this is one component this is not the end all be all to to uh scouting right this is just comparing the 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 uh, testing numbers of these players against other players in the draft to to determine value on your board right uh if you you know and and you guys know what i always say when in doubt if you have players equal on your on on your draft chart right when in doubt draft the freak if he tested like a freak and you and you have him t and he's got that that get to me that moves him above a dude that that uh is equal to him on your on your uh uh on your player ranking chart draft the freak every time because if he hits he's gonna hit big right because he, you can't teach uh speed and twitch and athleticism right so that's gonna do it for today guys hope you found that interesting i uh, got some guests coming up on the show there's my dog uh but until next time i've been mike this has been who daily see ya